Exercise 2. Anchoring and adjustment can severely affect our retrospective personal memory. While such memory is introspectively a process of dredging up what actually happened, it is to a large extent anchored by our current beliefs and feelings. This principle has been well established both in the psychological laboratory and in surveys. What we have at the time of recall is, after all, only our current state, which includes fragments, memory traces, of our past experience. These fragments are biased by what we now believe or feel to be true to an extent much greater than we know consciously. Moreover, the organization of these fragments of past experience into meaningful patterns is even more influenced by our current beliefs and moods, especially if we are particularly depressed or encouraged. Exercise 2 Anchoring and adjustment can severely affect our retrospective personal memory. While such memory is introspectively a process of dredging up what actually happened, it is to a large extent anchored by our current beliefs and feelings. This principle has been well established both in the psychological laboratory and in surveys. What we have at the time of recall is, after all, only our current state, which includes fragments, memory traces, of our past experience. These fragments are biased by what we now believe or feel to be true to an extent much greater than we know consciously. Moreover, the organization of these fragments of past experience into meaningful patterns is even more influenced by our current beliefs and moods, especially if we are particularly depressed or encouraged. Exercise 2. Anchoring and adjustment can severely affect our retrospective personal memory. While such memory is introspectively a process of dredging up what actually happened, it is to a large extent anchored by our current beliefs and feelings. This principle has been well established both in the psychological laboratory and in surveys. What we have at the time of recall is, after all, only our current state, which includes fragments, memory traces, of our past experience. These fragments are biased by what we now believe or feel to be true to an extent much greater than we know consciously. Moreover, the organization of these fragments of past experience into meaningful patterns is even more influenced by our current beliefs and moods, especially if we are particularly depressed or encouraged.